session. Okay. Well, do, okay. you don't want to just take five minutes here? This is I'm sorry. A, important questions that we want to ask you. Yeah, and like I said, I have. Uh, you know, we were looking at the financial disclosure forms mm -hmm. that you filed in 2013 that indicated that your husband made north of fifty thousand. Obviously, you make forty nine as an assemblywoman, and that puts you over the limit to be helped by Habitat. Additionally, Habitat's only been working on and demolishing homes that are primary residences, not secondary homes like. Like the you don't have to go shore. around to get into the door because my key is for the other door. You have a good day. Alex, you're chasing a story. Jersey politics, a New Jersey legislator in all kinds of hot water for admitting to using Habitat for Humanity to destroy and demolish her summer home that was wrecked in Sandy. What do you got? Assemblywoman Linda Stender, she represents Union County, she's a Democrat. In July, her home down the shore in Manuscon was demolished by the nonprofit Habitat for Humanity. We found out about this because we found a demolition permit carrying her husband's signature. I just want to give you a few minutes to talk to I me. really don't, actually. As you can okay. see, I'm here at work. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, I have a uh, phone conference scheduled with uh, some of the professionals about the projects okay. that we're going to be working that on, but I'd be happy to schedule a time. Now Habitat for Humanity's chapter in southern Monmouth County is looking into this matter, and they want to know, were they ripped off by the assemblywoman and her husband? It's Habitat for Humanity's mission to serve low- and middle-income families and serve their primary homes, not secondary and shore homes. Obviously, there's a ton of damage after Hurricane Sandy, and hundreds or maybe thousands of people in Monmouth County alone are still out of their homes. How come out of the 20 homes that Habitat is going to take a look at this year, the assemblywoman's home got on the list? I wanted to talk to her about it. I went to find her in Rahway, where she's got a $90,000 a year job as deputy director of the Union County Improvement Authority, and she didn't want to talk to me. It seems her and her husband Richard earned too much money to qualify for assistance for Habitat. You see, Habitat's got a restriction. They don't want to build homes for people who can afford to do it on their own. I'm wondering why you and your husband have an income that exceeds Habitat's requirements and why you receive help from them. Um, actually, I, as I said to you, I would um, like to schedule a time to talk to you. Um, and mm -hmm. I can't have a con I can't have that conversation with you. You know, I can't uh, speak to you right now. because I They have a $65,000 cap. Seems simple enough, right? Seems simple enough. Well, we took a look at the financial disclosure forms that Linda Stenders required by law to file with the state. In 2013, her husband made more than $50,000 with his job at a printing and marketing firm in Rockaway, and she takes home 49000 as an assemblywoman, so already they appear to be over the limit. Senator didn't want to talk about this, but a combined income of nearly $100,000 more if you count the money that she makes from the YMCA and the JCC up in Union County, and it appears that they're over the limit making six figures. Standard didn't want to talk to me about that, and her husband was even more unhappy to see me as he kicked me out of the printing firm's offices in Rockland. You know that I spoke to your wife? Yeah. And I just wanted to let you know that we're doing a story on Habitat That's for great. Humanity. Nice to meet you. Okay. Please leave. Even if Richard Stender said his primary home was in Manasquan, there's a problem there too. He registered to vote in Union County and didn't change his registration until 2013. Hurricane Sandy hit October 29th of 2012. We all remember that. One week later for the presidential election, Richard Stender is voting in Union County in Scotch Plains at his home. He didn't change his registration until the next summer. We asked the Attorney General's office if they were looking into this matter. The AG said they can't comment on anything either potential investigation or non-investigation. Something smells with this, come on. We, we talked to Habitat for Humanity about yeah, what'd this. What they say? What are they gonna do? They said that they're asking the board of directors to look into this matter and see what happens, well, see if any regulations the, were broken. Cost? Linda Stender didn't want to talk to me on Wednesday when I went to her office, but on Thursday night they sent us a message which makes it sound like she knew all about it. I'll read it to you. Like many others, our family suffered significant losses as a result of Hurricane Sandy. An application was made to Coastal Habitat for Humanity to assist in rebuilding. There are outstanding issues which are the subject of continued efforts to resolve. All right, a lot more to do in this story, so keep chasing it, keep us posted. All right, here are the plans to the house. Look at this. Room for three cars underneath, and of course, to get up all the way to the second floor, you need an elevator. This was gonna have an elevator installed. Bamboo infill panels, three bedrooms, Stairs and an outdoor shower. Not bad, Linda. 